hello, hello, hello. It's Taylor Talks, James, back with a video, and I've not actually done a video in a long time. Um, but I thought, you know, got a few pit, bits and pieces, got a few clothes, accessories. Um, so just thought, why not put the video together? Um, just show my pickups. Um, so yeah, it's basically just a few things that I've got over like the last three months, really. Um, just winter time. Um, just trying to slowly add to my wardrobe. I've been really focusing on buying things that I really, really like. So even if it means spending a little bit more money um, and buying less things, then, well, that's the direction I'm trying to go in. Um, just so when it comes to it in a couple of years time, I've got a really solid wardrobe just full of things that really, that I really, really like and that like really, really work with each other. So enough waffling, let's just get into it then. So first thing, an accessory, just this beanie I got. I got it from Arkit, it's about £25. Um, it's like a 100% wool. I think it's like sustainably sourced wool or something like that, I don't know. But either way, whatever kind of wool this is, this beanie is comfy as hell. Um, really thick, really warm, and it's really long as well, which I was looking for in a beanie. So you can like, rib it at different length and you can have like a really fat like cuff or rib and that's what I like with this beanie so and the colour is really sick as well like I think it really suits my skin tone and it really just works with like other things I've got in my wardrobe and it's just a nice little popper colour but it's kind of like an understated popper colour not like a really bright red it's just a muted red so I've literally been I wear this like literally every day I want to buy another one. I want to buy a black one, but yeah, this is this is holding the spot at like my number one beanie at the moment. So yeah, it's enough of that one. This bag from Reigns. Um, you know what? Honestly, I just love the brand Reigns. I've d I bought one of their jackets to be honest in the last video, uh, and I was really disappointed. But their accessories, their bags, are literally just so sick. I bought this from the hip store. Literally, I've seen this bag before and I've wanted it for so long. I've wanted it for about a good like year and a half, two years. But I've always had another tote bag and my other tote bag now is like, it's on its last leg. So I thought, you know what, I'll treat myself. I'll buy something new. And yeah, this is just sick. Again, I think this just fits in with other things I got in my wardrobe. It's like this, um, Synthetic kind of, it's a waterproof material, almost looks like leather, um, but it's not. So it's fully, the bag's fully waterproof. Um, you've got like the waterproof zip on here, just with the two handles, the Reigns logo here, you're probably not gonna be able to see it. And it's quite big actually for a tote bag, like I can fit, like if I go to work and I've got this, I can literally fit everything in here. Lunch, books, fucking, and like a scarf and stuff. And then, yeah, man, it's got like a little, it's got like a little uh, inside smaller pocket as well. And it's just a really well constructed bag. Like it literally just screams quality. Yeah, so I'm really happy about this purchase. Not gonna lie. I think it cost me about 40 quid, um, but yeah, sick, sick bag. So that's that. So now we're actually gonna move on to like the proper garms, like the clothes in my wardrobe. We'll start off with the t-shirt that I bought. So this bad boy, um, this is my most recent purchase. This is the Nike. Nike brought out like a collection of like clothes. Um, that had this all over like embroidered swoosh and I literally thought it's such a sick sick design like it's it's really like understated and a clean design um, and especially the fact that it's embroidered like I think it reminds me of when Champion had Champion had a set of like sweats and stuff that had like an all over embroidered print but I think the Champion logo looks a bit 
too garish, it looks a bit too sportswearish. This is nice, I think this I can like wear with a lot of things. Yeah, and it's so it's like a it's a massive t-shirt. It's got I've got it in a size extra large, but it literally fits like a tent. But obviously I think it's meant to just be a relaxed look. So I'll probably wear this more in summer. It's a really thick heavyweight material. I can't really say much about this one. It's just like it just speaks for itself. It's it's a simple t-shirt, but it's just clean and it'll be look good underneath like a black jacket. Really happy with this. I think it cost me about 20, no. 30 quid, yeah, so not too bad. I did want to get, so I did want to actually get the black version of this, but with the way the material is, the black version, I felt like it's one of those ones, if you wash it a couple of times, it'll just fade to gray. You know, like, I'm sure everyone's had a pair of like black, a black hoodie or like a black pair of joggers and you've washed it twice and it's just, it's just, it just looks like shit, so. I really wanted the black one, but the white one's still sick. So yeah. And then, this bad boy. This was a very like, impromptu purchase. I don't know if that is the word. I don't know if I'm just making up words now, but like, didn't expect to buy this. I went into cars and I saw this and I was like, this is actually kind of fire. Something about it caught my eye. I think it was the color. I think it was the fit. Basically, it's just a, um, this is like a 100% wool uh, turtleneck from Cars. It's like, it's unhemmed. It's got no ribbon at the bottom, neither on the sleeves. Um, but it's really nice and a really soft material. And I think what really caught my eye about this, like I said, is the, the colour on it. Like it's a really, it's an understated colour, but it's, it's, it's something different to having black or grey. It's like a really dark bottle green. And um, what I really liked the most, and what really caught my eye was, obviously it is a turtleneck. How am I gonna put it? So uh, there's no stitching at the neck, which you often find with other turtlenecks. So the way they've crafted this really intrigued me. I can't see any stitching around the top. So that's what I love about this really. Like it's just, the way it's made is just so intriguing and that's typical of cars. Like the, the stuff that they make and the way they make it, it's, it just screams quality. So yeah, I think this can be, this can look good. Like really worn as a layering piece. I've worn it like, wore it a lot through winter um, underneath like long coats and stuff. So I think this in the beanie goes really well together, colours wise. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a, it's just a cool piece. Um, this was about forty quid. I think for the material as well, this was a bit of a bargain, and it's one of those things I'm always going to wear every winter. So uh, this is something I got from Uniqlo U. This is Uniqlo U turtleneck. I wasn't, I wasn't blown away by this. Like I, I do like it and I don't, and I find it difficult to wear though. So it's literally just a turtleneck with like quite a loose neck. It's not exactly a roll neck, but it's not a mock neck. It's just sort of like a loose, a very loose roll neck actually. Um, and I thought the loose neck would uh, suit my, kind because I've got a bit of a big neck anyway, like a bit of a meaty neck. So I thought it would suit. It is okay, but one thing I wish, I wish the red was either slightly darker and I wish the sleeves were a bit longer as well and the sleeves weren't cuffed because the sleeves do come a bit short on me, which is a bit annoying because most of the Uniqlo U stuff, the sleeves are really, really long. But yeah, um, and I think what I wish actually, I got a different color because I find the red a really difficult color to wear unless it's layered really well under things. I feel like it's too strong of a colour and it like dominates my outfit. I haven't got enough things in my wardrobe to wear with this at the moment. Because I've either all my jeans or all my trousers are either black or grey, which does look good, but then I think like this really does dominate. I need something to wear over this to break up the, the such strong red. Um, so like a, a black cardigan. Um, it works well with the black jacket, the black like trench coat I've got uh, from the same collection. It works really well with that, but with anything else, it just looks a bit 
it just doesn't look right. I've got a bomber jacket actually, um, Alpha Industries one. Colours wise, it looks amazing, but then the neck doesn't look right with it. So I don't know what, I don't know how I'm going to work this one. I'll leave it in my wardrobe. I'll see what happens. Because I do have a lot of things where I've left it in my wardrobe, left it over time, and then all of a sudden I've got quite a few things that work with it and then I can put it back in, bring it off the subs bench basically. But um, yeah, yeah, but like I said, he's, this is gonna stay on the subs bench for a while. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> right, so obviously me having like really big feet, <laughs> like size 13, 14 feet, I have an issue with finding shoes. Um, but I really wanted some shoes to like, to wear when I go out and stuff. Um, something leather and not trainers, because leather's a bit easier to clean it, clean, and it's a bit more robust. So I cop these Doc Martens shoes. They're called Dante, Doc Martens Dante shoes. They're all right, they're all right. These cost me about like a hundred quid or something. They're really well made to be fair, like, and they're quite sturdy and stuff. I wear these, like, because I've got a leather jacket. I was struggling to wear, and I wanted a pair of shoes that would look kind of right with them, so I cop these. But I'm just not 100% sure about them, man. Like, I think these look very, a lot better on a smaller foot. But I think what it is, I haven't got jeans or, like, trousers that I can wear with them that really flatter them. I've either got really baggy jeans that just makes these look like school shoes, or I've got like thin jeans that are just too skinny and make my feet look too big. I need to find something that stacks on top of these like quite nicely. They do, like I said, they serve a purpose uh, to go out in and stuff, but I don't know, I don't know. What I really wanted was, there's some filling pieces shoes that I really wanted like in black, but they don't go up to my size, so. Yeah, we'll just have to roll with these for now. But yeah, that's it. That's it for those. I ain't got much to say. Um, <laughs> now, moving on to like two of the most expensive things I bought recently. So this this is something I've wanted for a very, very, very long time. That again, I, I tend to plan out my purchases way in advance, and I have things. I have like a list of things I want to buy. Um, so I'm so glad to have ticked this off. Basically, these are a pair of Maharishi cargo trousers. My brother introduced me to this brand. Well, I'll start by describing the trousers. So, uh, they're like, what can I say? Like polyester kind of track cargo. I don't know if you call them track suits or cargos, or whatever, but basically it's like polyester material with a bit of cotton, um, just black. They can be rolled up into shorts or three quarter lengths with these buttons here. Yeah. And then what I really like about these is, and what I've really wanted in a pair of cargos, is like the drawstring at the bottom. Cause I see like, a, especially like a, um, a bungee cord drawstring. Cause I see cargo, a lot of cargos with drawstrings made out of cotton, but I think the bungee cord just looks so sick when you wear it with like trainers and stuff. I don't know, I'm very particular about, about this. That's why I've wanted a pair of Maharishi ones for so long. I know they're a good quality brand that do it with the bungee cords. So you can wear them like cuffed or like non-cuffed or whatever. The material's just like kind of light, but you can feel, again, you can feel the quality with these. Yeah, man. And then they've got the, the bungee cord on the waist as well, so you can like adjust the waist. But the main thing I haven't talked about, which is, what is so wavy about these is this design on the bottom. So it's got like a leopard print design at the bottom, the back of the leg. It's so, again, so typical of Maharishi. Like they, with a lot of their designs, like they, a lot of their clothes, they put these kind of like natural animal kind of designs on them. And I just thought this works really well on the black and it worked. I just really liked the green. So I did want, so these are on the baggy side. If I do an on body, you'll see. So they're like the loose version. I did kind of want these straighter versions, but I did also want the design. So I think I didn't mind going for the looser version with the design on the bottom, because um, it just gives it a bit of something. So yeah, 
these cost me like uh, these cost me like 150 quid so these cost quite a bit but again it's been something on my list I've been wanting for a very very long time so and these were originally from 250 so I'm, I'm these are gonna stay in my wardrobe for literally ever so it's a good investment in my eyes and now for the final final piece this bad boy this is a coat from Uniqlo. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's described, I think it is the Uniqlo U oversized trench coat. Um, and I get a lot of compliments on this jacket, man. Like, this is probably one of my favorite purchases. How oh, could I say? I don't know, it's hard to say, but one of my favourite purchases this year. It's like um, a wool outer and a, I think, poly something something or other inner, like a, a waterproof inner. It's just a normal trench coat, so like, there's no designs on here. It's just got buttons going down the middle. There's not much to say about this jacket, but there is a lot about it. So what, what's so sick about this jacket is inner, the inner material. So it's the block tech, it's Uniqlo's like block tech feature. So it's got an inner material lining that's like completely waterproof. So what is so sick about this jacket is that when it gets wet, the beads of water just sit on the outside of the jacket. And it just looks, it's one of those little tiny details which just looks so sick. And because the jacket doesn't look like a waterproof jacket, I don't know, it just, it's really cool and it's really intriguing to see, to see it do that. It's got like an oversized fit, so it's like longer and wide, really wide on the sleeves. Um, it's quite a long jacket, comes down to past my knees. I got it in a size large. I was going to get it in XL. Um, so basically I got a blue one in this, the blue colour looked horrible, so then I then opted for the black one instead, um, but they only had it in a large, so I thought I'll take a risk, see what the large is like, and it's not too bad. The only little thing is that on the chest, when I button it all the way up, it is a little bit, a little bit tight, so if I'm wearing like a really thick jumper underneath, it's a little bit restrictive, but I plan to wear this jacket open most of the time. I think it looks best when it's open and flowing. Um, so yeah, and it's, I get people saying like, I look like I'm in the Matrix in it, or like I'm a fucking assassin in it. It's, it's a sick, sick jacket and it's, um, it's really like coherent with like the other stuff in my wardrobe as well. And it's what it's done with this jacket is help me wear other things in my wardrobe and like, like trousers or shoes or like hoodies I've got. Putting this over them makes them look 10 times better. What I'm really trying to focus on at the moment is, again, building a wardrobe of things that I really, really like. Like, if I had to give things out of like a one to 10, it has to be like a seven or above now for me to buy it. And I'm finding that as time's going on, I've my, it's getting easier and easier to pick out things in my wardrobe because I've got more things that I really, really like, so I really want to wear them. And I'm really focusing on buying things that really fit together. Um, so I think maybe I think my sense of style's just grown a bit more. Um, and I, recently I've been selling a lot of things that I do like but just don't fit with my wardrobe. So I've noticed myself wearing a lot more things that are like in the either black or white or a really muted colour, like a like a really dark or dark colours. So like a dark green, like a burgundy, dark blues. Um, and I find things are just working together a lot better in like greys as well. So yeah. Um, but anyway, that's it man. Uh, I think that's just gonna be me for the video. Um, let me know what you think, uh, if you've got any like comments or even questions about the stuff I've bought, just um, chat to me in the comments, um, but yeah, that has been your boy Taylor Talks, um, so peace.